Good evening. My name is Dr. John Cook, and I have the honor to serve as President of Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast Catholic High School. I'd like to thank you for joining us tonight as we solemnly celebrate the lives of those alumni, faculty, staff, and students who once walked our hallways and have since gone before us. Tonight's Mass is celebrated in the auditorium, which was renovated by a gift in the memory of Anthony F. Frederico, class of 1969, by his family. This Mass is a memorial of all who have passed, and as you will see, there are many of our brothers and sisters who have passed on into eternal life whose names we have listed. We honor those, and we especially remember those who have gone on this past year tonight. Again, on behalf of our entire school community here at Bonner and Prendy, we thank you for joining us this evening, and we continue to pray for all those who have passed. Let us pray. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Thank you, and God bless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As we gather to celebrate this memorial mass on the sixth Sunday of Easter, let us be reminded that every time we gather around the table of the Lord, it is in memory of what Christ has done for us and what we are challenged to do for one another. So let us begin by calling to mind our faults and our failings as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sin and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. And now together let us praise God as we say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. And let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to what we do through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up. I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, Can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response is, the Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has, has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. The Lord, the Lord has, has revealed, revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord, the Lord has, has revealed, revealed to the nations his, his saving, saving power. A 
reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he has loved us and sent his Son as an expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. that you may worthily and faithfully proclaim the gospel in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends, if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that, that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise is to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. As we gather together to celebrate this memorial mass, we as alumni who will be viewing this mass in the days to come, I think we'll spend some time always reminiscing. It just goes with the nature of not only being a graduate of a school like Monsignor Bonner or Archbishop Prendergast, but it's an opportunity for us to recount or recall the many unique opportunities that we had during our stay here. I not only went to Bonner, but I also spent many years working here as the chaplain. They were important years for my own formation as both a person and a priest. And I have many fond memories of watching not only myself grow in an understanding of what Jesus refers to in our gospel as complete joy, I also found it a remarkable opportunity for me to understand what the scriptures were saying to us today as we celebrate this Easter season and find ourselves moving closer and closer to Pentecost. For all of us, as we reminisce, we also remember those who have gone before us in faith those who have died, who once filled this auditorium, or filled the classrooms in either one of these two buildings, 
that have been here for several decades. We all know that times have changed. And we all know that as times continue to change, we, can, we continue to change with them, attempting to understand the newness of the world we live in. But one thing is for certain, that when we come to celebrate the Eucharist, we come to remember those who go before us in faith every single time we attend Mass. We always remember our faithful departed. And we, at times, might be envious of them because our hope is that they are enjoying that complete joy that Jesus speaks to us in our Gospel. A joy that has them surrounded by the love of God. And if my own understanding of the afterlife might come true, being surrounded by those that loved them in this life, that to me is one of the great joys of hopefully finding my way to heaven, is to be able to once again enter into relationship not only with my God, but maybe with those who I knew and loved during this life. And yet I have no idea what heaven will be like. None of us do. Understanding our faith, especially when we hear what went on through the Acts of the Apostles and how the early church began to grow and change over and over. We recognize that our church continues to change as well. Every generation wonders what the next generation will do. And the next generation wonders what we're going to continue to do as we grow older. Coming together, regardless of what year we may have graduated from high school, is an opportunity for us to remember. To remember those who have gone before us in faith. To remember one another and get caught up in relationships that we once had that may have faded over time. But our relationship with the Lord should never fade. There should never be a gap in our opportunity to love God and to worship God as those who have been baptized in the faith. Celebrating the Eucharist here on the stage and being here at Bonner again and walking around and seeing the pictures of even the principals who have gone before us in faith. I recognize a time gone by but I don't like to dwell in the past. I prefer to dwell in the present. Because as Jesus instructed his disciples, he wanted them to be ready for the mission that he had called them to encounter. And so they needed to understand what it meant to remain in God's love. They needed to understand the many parables that Jesus spoke to them about being the vine and we are the branches or he being the good shepherd and we are the sheep. We hear all of these metaphors during the Easter season and we are reminded that as of members of the flock, the flock of the church, the flock of Bonner, the flock of Prendy, that we have been given a value system that has taught us how to live our lives and how to accept the challenges of the time that we live in. Because if we accept the challenges of the Lord today, then that next generation will have an example of what they need to do tomorrow. And so as we continue our prayer, and we continue to move day by day through the Easter season, making ourselves more aware of the gifts of the Holy Spirit that were shared not only with those who were followers of Christ from the Jewish community, but the Gentile community that we heard in the Acts of the Apostles. We know we too have received those gifts. Gifts that provide us with wisdom and understanding, with right judgment and counsel, and fear of the Lord and an understanding of holiness. Let us prepare ourselves 
as Pentecost grows closer, to recognize the birthday of the church. Because the Easter season leads us to understand that those who have gone before us, those of us still alive, are all brothers and sisters in the Lord. And our task is to remain in Christ as we remember those who once hallowed these halls and the halls of that building next door. That we remember those whose lives were many times memorialized with a trophy or a, an A in an amazing class or a scholarship to a college of their choice. We remember the values that we have been taught and through the sisters of the various communities that shared their charisms with the women there and over here today and the Augustinians who have worked here for over 50 years. We celebrate those memories and we ask God to bless them and to bless all of us as we go forth in faith. Go forth in faith. Together now we join in praying our creed, reminding ourselves of the things that we believe. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. I believe in the one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. And gathered around the table of the Lord, we now place our needs, our hopes and desires before our loving God, who hears and answers our prayers. For the church throughout the world, that all members of God's family, especially our Holy Father, Pope Francis, remain in God's love by keeping the Father's commandments, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation and all civic leaders, may they enact laws that safeguard the dignity of all human life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in the world, especially in the Middle East and the Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of the Bonner and Prendy family, both past and present, may the Lord bless them abundantly, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church throughout the world, that all members of God's family, especially our Holy Father, Pope Francis, remain in God's love by keeping the Father's commandments, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church throughout the world, that all members of God's family, especially our Holy Father, remain in God's love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In a special way, Lord, we present to you all of our alumni who have gone before us. In your merciful love, grant them their eternal reward, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And good and gracious God, hear the prayers of your people who call out to you and answer the prayers that we voice and those that remain deep in our minds and hearts according to your will. In the name of Christ Jesus, our risen Lord, who lives with you forever and ever. Amen. 
Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness. We have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Together now we pray that this our sacrifice may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And you are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race. For through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night before he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, and once more giving thanks, gave the cup to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for the many, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the offering of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by his body and by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. And may he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, all of our saints and blesseds, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope Nelson, our bishop, and all of the men and women you have called into ministry, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of the family you have gathered together before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. And to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, especially our alumni from both Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And now at the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray as we have been taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the risen Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. And Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
And behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And in the words of St. Augustine, see who you are and become what you receive. Restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon you all and remain with you forever. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining us in celebration of our Bonner and Prendy classmates. My name is Tara George, class of 1986, Archbishop Prendergast. I am the Executive Director of Advancement here at our school. The Memorial Mass reminds me that our friendships and family are so important. I encourage you to reach out to your classmates or reach out to a classmate that you have lost touch with or have not seen in some time. Tell your stories to each other and reminisce. Thank you again for joining us, and I hope to greet you on campus in the near future. God bless.